The white folding chair taking on a life of its own following a brawl in Alabama that has captured the nation's attention. Video shows a black co-captain being attacked by a mob of white voters on a Montgomery dock. Next, you can see black people running and even swimming to his defense. The hits kept coming, but the folding chair itself igniting some historical context created by a black man, Nathaniel Alexander. His patent version of it created in 1911. Lift every chair and swing. <laughs> From celebrities speaking out on it to memes across social media, across Black America, the folding chair has become an online sensation in the backdrop of a place filled with years of racial tension and home to the civil rights movement. But the smackdown didn't just land in Montgomery. Days later, it spread to Detroit. This viral video footage captures a Black man using a folding chair outside a downtown business to seemingly defend himself after an alleged escalated argument with a white male. From people we spoke to, the use of a folding chair in this way is mixed. You gotta, turn, you gotta laugh at sometimes. So you gotta, unfortunately, people shouldn't have to defend themselves with chairs, but if that's how it goes, that's how it goes. And then people just, you know, kind of take off with it. You know, the internet is undefeated. So one thing happens, it trends. No, it, it was tough to see, you know, but I guess deep down inside, you know, you kind of see it as like, oh, wow, I guess. Maybe it was deserved a little bit for like attacking a guy who couldn't defend himself, but you know, it's pretty funny. The memes are crazy and it's, it's cool to see it like travel around the world from like over there to like Detroit now. So, you know, it's pretty funny. It's like a folding chair. It's like carry it around with you everywhere. You never know where you might need it. And there you have it, a folding chair created by a black man, but the viral sensation of it created from just a black man doing his job when attacked. In today's times, you'll find it very hard pressed for any black person to stand or sit idly by and watch as their fellow brother be attacked in this kind of way. That scene brought back all too familiar stories and black and white images told of, well, times that existed not too many years ago. And in this time, black people had heard and seen enough of those types of stories and they jumped into action in Montgomery, Alabama. 2023. Uh, Andre Ash reporting.